Cameras these days can record an amazing amount of detail, but most camera formats are just not designed for editing. The Proxy workflow in Premiere Pro solves that problem. Proxies are lightweight copies of your video files. And if you've got really big files or highly compressed codecs, proxies can help ensure buttery smooth performance while editing. And because proxies are often much smaller than the originals, they open the door to remote collaboration with others because you can share them over the internet. Premiere Pro makes it really easy to edit with proxies. Just click a button to toggle between viewing proxies or camera original files. But our users asked us to make it easier to tell which one is being viewed. So we did. The latest release of Premiere Pro includes badges to show you which version of your file you're using and the option to include a burned-in watermark. You can use proxies for most of the editing process, but sometimes you need to do some pixel peeping, like checking critical focus or ensuring that you aren't pushing things too hard with your color correction. In those situations, just toggle the proxies off and you can view the camera original files. Any edits, effects, or color grading you apply while viewing proxies are automatically applied to your source media too. And when you export, Premiere Pro will create the final encoding from the original high quality files without you having to configure anything special. Okay, let's see how all this works. Here I have some monster 8K files that look great, but my computer is not quite powerful enough to keep up. Select all the files in the project panel, right click, go down to proxy, and choose create proxies. By default, we'll create proxies using the ProRes codec, which is optimized for smooth editing. You also have the option to burn a watermark into the proxy files so you can be absolutely sure which version is which when you're editing and when it's time to export. The job is sent over to Media Encoder to process in the background so you can get back to editing or organizing your project. As each proxy file is created, Premiere Pro attaches it to the source file and pretty soon editing becomes much smoother. Of course, the source files are still here, and you can check them anytime you want by clicking the Toggle Proxies button in the button bar. Now let's take a look at the various ways you can tell when you're viewing proxies or originals. First off, look at the Toggle Proxies button. Blue means proxies are enabled, and gray means they're off. There are also badges in the sequence and the project panel. Blue is enabled, gray is disabled and red means the proxy files are offline. Premiere Pro can't find them on your hard drive because they were moved or deleted. Finally, if you choose to include a watermark when creating proxies, that will be visible in the lower left on each file. These are burned into the file on disk too. We chose a small light gray image so it's not distracting while editing. This is an 8K timeline and look how responsive it is. When I'm ready to export, Premiere Pro automatically uses the source media to create the final encoded outputs. For extra peace of mind, it's easy to see that the watermark is gone in export mode. If you love proxies and you use them all the time, you can configure Premiere Pro to automatically create proxies anytime you import files. This can be configured in the project settings under ingest. And if you have a camera that can record proxies itself, you can attach those to the source files as well. Choose Attach Proxies. Whatever process you use, proxies are guaranteed to speed up your workflow in Premiere Pro. Try it yourself in the latest release of Premiere Pro.